Wedding bells on today's Hot Off The Net as Paul McCartney gets set to marry wife number three and gay marriage to be legalised. Hi, I'm Rachel Downey and this is your terrific Tuesday edition of Hot Off The Net UK. Sir Paul McCartney is set to tie the knot at the same venue where he first married more than 40 years ago. The 69-year-old former Beatle has posted his wedding bands at Marlebone Register office, where he married his first wife Linda in 1969. Couples are required to give 16 days notice of marriage, which means he could marry his fiancée Nancy Shevel as soon as October. The document lodged at the venue, officially known as Westminster Registrar Office, lists the musician under his full name, James Paul McCartney, and describes him as a business executive. Sir Paul has reportedly turned down Chevel's offer of a prenup. Not that she needs any of his fortune, being the heiress to her father's £250 million haulage firm. The British government has drawn up plans to introduce same-sex civil marriages before the next election in 2015. Equalities Minister Lynn Featherstone said on Saturday, I am delighted to announce today that in March, this government will begin a formal consultation on how to implement equal civil marriage for same-sex couples. She told her Liberal Democrat Party's annual conference in Birmingham, civil partnerships for same-sex couples were introduced in Britain in December 2005, giving them similar rights to married heterosexual couples. However, the partnerships cannot legally be referred to as marriages. Lynn Featherstone went on to say, I believe that to deny one group of people the same opportunities offered to another is not only discrimination, but it is not fair. This change is expected to win strong support among the Liberal Democrats, but while Cameron is also said to back the plans, he could face opposition from traditionalist conservatives who believe marriage should only be between a man and a woman. Tomorrow, the hunt for the identity of the British-speaking youth found living in a German forest continues. Join us then.